Okay, everyone. It is time to learn about HTTP client. Ballerina HTTP client is a powerful client. It has many different features. By default, it uses HTTP 2 as the transport. It supports many different security protocols. It has many different resiliency features such as retry, timeout, circuit breaker, load balancing, things like that. And if you look at the implementation of that client, it's a fully reactive implementation, meaning this client can run on a fixed number of physical threads. Okay, so let's see how to use this client. Let me go back to my VS Code and click on the diagram view on this one. Okay, so our social media service is coming into shape bit by bit. In the last session, we discussed about this particular resource. In this session, we'll be using this particular resource. As you can see, the URL is the same. In the previous one, we just read the post created by a given user. In this one, we will let users create post. Okay, so if I just show you the sequence diagram. Here you can see first it gets the user ID and go to the database to see whether this user is a valid user. If the user is not a valid user, it sends back user not found. Else, again it talk to the database to see to create the actual post. And then finally, HTTP created is sent back to the original client. So, so that's the story of this resource. Right, so let's go back. The code is, so, code is also is the same story. So this time what we want to do is, before we store the user post in the database, we want to check whether the sentiment of the new post is negative or positive. If the sentiment is negative, we just want to send back post forbidden. If the sentiment is positive, we just continue with the next line. We basically store the data in the database and send back HTTP created. So that is what we want to do. So in order to do so, we'll be using a AI endpoint. So let me show that endpoint. Let's go back to our browser. And if you click on sentiment analysis service, here you can see our service. So this is actually a mock service, but there is a real service with the same uh, URL and the payload type. We just wanted to use a mock service because we wanted to keep it simple and predictable. So here you can see if you look at the API, the API is quite uh, straightforward. Base path is text dash processing. And then inside that, there is an API a resource called API sentiment. It requires a payload type post. So if you look at the definition of post, it is something like this. So let's start this service. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this is a mock service, but there is a real service. If you want, you can try to connect to that as well. Okay, so let's go back to our VS Code. The first thing we need to do is start the sentiment analysis service. So let's do that. Let's go on folder back and cd into social, not social, sentiment analysis service and do bell run. 
let's open this file if you look at here i already have a post request to sentiment analysis service so let's send that post request and see what is the response okay so if you look at the request you can see this is the content of the request in this case the sentiment we want to validate is of this description or of this text in this it says i love this product which is not a bad thing so if you look at the response here you can see the probability of each sentiment and it seems like this is a request with a positive sentiment which is good okay so let's connect to this endpoint using our http client now as usual let's copy the json payload go back to the code and paste it Paste, press control shift p and execute paste json as echo okay so we have converted the json payload into ballerina echoes let's rename this into sentiment right so let's create the http client i'll just create it next to our database client let's name it sentiment endpoint and Let's give the URL. We can actually copy the URL from this request. So let's do that. So here I'm just copying the base part and paste it here. Right, it looks good. So now let's use that client to send the request. And the my endpoint. Yeah. And then the next part and okay and we want to send a post request and uh, request payload should look something like this new post description so we take the new post description and send it to the sentiment analysis endpoint so in response, I could get sentiment or an HTTP client error. I don't want to handle the client error here, so I'll just check and pass it to the listener so that listener can handle it as appropriate. Okay, so looks good. So now what we need to do is we just need to check if the response is negative. Let's name it as sentiment. And let's say sentiment is no, say sentiment is sentiment label is negative. If it is negative, we just want to send back post forbidden. So let's do that. Post forbidden. Just the same response we sent back for the 404 as well. So we have the message. So in this body section, you have the message, details and timestamp. So the message is in, let's say, ID, the ID, details, then it's just sent back the URL of the resource, just like in the previous one. So let's copy that. Timestamp is 
OTC now. Okay, so that is done. So what we need to do is we just need to return that. If you want, you can actually merge these two. I don't want to do that for the time being. Okay, so it looks good. So what we're actually doing is, if the overall sentiment is negative, we just stop the execution, execution of the resource by sending post forbid. Okay, let's run the service and see whether we get the extended response. Okay, the service is starting. In the meantime, let's open this file. This time we just need to send a request to this endpoint. So if you look at the payload of the request, you can see we have a description. So this is what we are going to validate. Along with that, we have text and category. Okay, the service is started, so let's send the request. Okay, so as expected, we get with the one created because our mock service is always turning positive. Okay, so that's all I just wanted to discuss. So before we wrap up this discussion, I just want to add one more thing. Here you can see we send the post request and return we get the sentiment response. In this case, the sentiment is representing, representing the response body. In case you want to uh, read some response headers as well, in addition to reading the response body, in that case, you can use HTTP response. And then from the response, you can get the payload. So there are different ways of reading the payload. In this case, it's a JSON payload. So you can see it is payload and write the same logic. Let me get rid of that for now. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next one.